Hello. It's Jerry the OG here. Speaking of which, follow at Jerry the OG on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with what I tweet and everything like that. I don't use it heavily as much. In fact, I took Twitter off of my phone. But, you know, after a bunch of suspensions, I finally have a Twitter account along with the second one uh, that I can, you know, not worry about being on, worry about being suspended or anything like that. Uh, thirdly, since the Twitter thing was technically the second thing, why is it loud over here? Jesus. Um, if you are a big content creator that knows of me, all I ask, and it's okay if you can't, but all I ask is that you help me get Crash 4 early. That's not really too much to do for it, bro. But anyways, let's get to these. Uh, th why, why did I say this like that? Let's get to this um, trailer uh, analysis. We're going to do it bit by bit, sort of. Um, after watching it a second time this morning, I figured, you know, it'd be fun to just, you know, kind of uh, give my observations off based on what we've seen uh, so far from the State of Play Crash 4 trailer. So let's hop to it. <laughs> Fluidity is hey top everyone, notch. I'm Lou Stutter, producer at Toys for Bob, and I'm here to talk to you about Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Crash 4 is a direct sequel to Crash Bandicoot Warped. The devious villains, Neo Cortex and Dr. Entropy, have finally escaped their interdimensional prison, leaving an evil scientist-sized hole in the universe. Now they've got their eyes set on not only simply conquering this dimension, but all but dimensions. All dimensions. Uh -huh. yep. And it's up to Crash and Coco to save the day. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about... Okay, Aku Aku looked great right there. ...time is the first totally new game in the Crash Bandicoot series in over a decade. So for us at Toys for Bob, we felt that it was important to reintroduce longtime fans, as well as new players, to this amazing franchise. Okay, so I'm not ignoring what he said. I'm just going to point out basically, you know, what was shown here. Um, this whole rail grinding thing, this was inspired from Titans. Right, right off the bat. First, we made sure to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective-shifting platforming that we all fell in love with. Obviously. And then, we wanted to introduce exciting new elements that we can't wait to show you today. Let's start with Insanity Beach. Okay. This is where crashes. So this part right here is actually pretty neat because it's a, it's almost like a callback or a nod um, to Crash of the Titans on DS, where Aku Aku wakes up Crash this adventure out of his started, sleep, and where we pick things up again in Crash Four. Insanity Beach has obviously taken an extreme makeover. Um, this little surfboard over here actually has a uh, tattoo the call, which is a callback to Crash of the Titans. Uh, but there have de there's definitely been changes since we first. That paw over here on on this on the left here on this little surfboard, um, I feel like is a pat. That's a pattern under his shoe. I'm pretty sure. Which Crash also had in Titans, which is nice. Saw Insanity Beach all those years ago. And throughout Crash 4, you'll see those changes to our gameplay and even our art style. Our art teams wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games, but the animated cartoons that inspired those original games. Here's some lighting improvement compared to the first time we've seen this scene in the first uh, reveal trailer for this game. All while also delivering bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions to That's explore. That's nice. Throughout Crash 4, You'll see wide open new vid. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. I gotta be honest with you. Um, I'm not a fan of Coco still carrying her laptop throughout the like the game. It's still kind of weird to me personally. It's not a big deal, obviously, but it's just something that's like, like why? <laughs> but that's just something I noticed when uh when when she was like, you know, being shown off more in terms of gameplay. See wide open new vistas new character models, and lots of expressive animations. I love how Coco looks in this game. That also comes new additions to the platforming, like having the ability to wall run, rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as yeah, well. Yeah, the rope swinging and rail grinding was from in Titans. In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash Yo, wearing a biker jacket. I love that they're doing this for the game. That seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So like, I'm, like I'm the glad tons of awesome they're act they've they actually like shown this. Throughout the game. These skins are totally cosmetic and a fun way to express yourself while playing the game. And just to be clear, there's no MTX here. Skins are earned by completing different challenges and earning gems within levels. Crash 4 also introduces the Quantum Masks, the powerful protectors of time and space. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the crazy challenges that we're going to be throwing at the player. Whether it's Ika Ika, who gives you the ability to instantly flip your center of gravity at the press of a button. I don't think we've I don't think we've had anything gravity related with Crash, if my memory serves me correct. Yeah, I don't think we've had anything like this, so this is pretty neat. 
Kapunawa, who allows you to slow down the world around. Kapunawa is just that one titan from Mind of Ramune. Or Lani Loli, who allows you to phase shift elements in and out of existence. Bending the rules I dig of this. reality and altering your environment with these new masks is a must. He's probably my favorite we also mask. I can't wait to talk to you about the fourth mask, Akano. But that's gonna have to wait for another day. Akano better be godlike. Tell you today, though, is that Crash isn't the only character you get to take control of during the. Okay, yeah, during this uh, journey or adventure, whatever he says, you know, you can play as Coco. She has a prominent role in the story. We've heard this already. Um, we already know about Cortex. Controlled Neo Cortex. He's all about using his blaster to change an enemy in his path. Mm -hmm. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're excited to reveal that for the first time, you'll also get to tail slap your way through crates as Yo, Dingo Dial. This is actually really tight. Like, I. Okay. One thing I will say is that when it comes to all these playable characters, I sincerely hope that it's like one of those things where every character feels fun. They don't feel like a chore or a drag to play through. That's what I'm hoping is the case when it comes to this game. I really, really, really hope that uh, all the characters are, um, you know, refreshing or a, a, a blast to play as because if it feels like a drag, that's 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 kind of going to suck. That's like my only thing that I hope for for the game when it comes to the, the extra playable characters. Um, I am going to be doing an entire Coco run, though. Um, but, you know, since we'll be able to play as Cortex and Dingle Doll, I feel like they might be uh, story-specific in terms of when you play as them. I repeat, you get to play as Dingo Dial in Crash 4. Now, a lot has changed in the years since we last saw Dingo Dial. Yeah, he in got fact, bigger. He hung up his old <laughs> flamethrower-rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. Unfortunately for Dingo, fortunately for us, his adventure begins by witnessing the destruction of said beloved diner. That shit is unfortunate. And let me just say, this commentator is amazing. I forgot what his name was, but I know he works at Toys for Bob. I love this guy's commentary on, on, on like what we're being shown for Crash 4 updates. This dude needs to do this more. And getting sucked into another dimension. Finally, there's a <laughs> Bro, okay, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I'm gonna be really honest with y'all right now, okay? <laughs> Yo, when I saw this, my first initial thought was, okay, this is just Splatoon, but it crashed Bandicoot. But I realized I only said that because Splatoon 2 is one of the games I played again recently. But what this really actually reminds me of is the blob. This is the blob and Crash Bandicoot, bruh. <laughs> One more surprise, I'm incredibly excited to show you today. The Crash Bandicoot series oh, has always been about finding I thought that was really cool, ways though. to play through the game. In the past... And I actually, I actually really like what he said here. Incredibly excited to show you today. Hold on. The Crash Bandicoot series has always been about finding new and exciting ways to play through the game. This, to me, is telling me that Toys for Bob is completely aware of, like, the different steps in direction that the Crash games after the Naughty Dog games, not including Wrath of Cortex, tried to take but couldn't do. And when they did take those necessary steps to change things up, like Titans of Modern Mutant, for example, and maybe even Entranced on the Game Boy Advance to an extent or degree, um... You know, this tells me that they're, they're very aware of what those games tried to do and everything, and they're trying to do that exact almost that exact same thing here um except with this gameplay that we're all familiar with when it comes to crash in the past it's been about taking on time trials or discovering all the hidden secrets oh well he mentioned the time trials and relics i don't know how i missed that detail but yeah i mean you know they're doing more basically and i like that they're doing more with this well for crash 4 we wanted to bring something brand new to the table so we teamed up with our friends at beanox to create a brand new style of play for crash i like to call this they call inverted mode i like to call inverted it's mode up filter mode. Mode, mirror mode even though there's clearly more put into it perspective shifted but now each of the dimensions are rendered in a new and unique art style that really changes the look and feel of the experience one dimension could be asking you to traverse through a neon wasteland, while another tasks players with spinning paint all over the environment to see their path forward. I really like that. Uh, We've even got one that feels like that an old blob tiny crash mode. mode. Cranked camera speed, increasing the actual speed of and this is cool too. as well. I like this. Once unlocked, players can replay all the game's levels with a totally new and dynamic look and feel. Okay, it's I'm... an incredibly fun feature that is going to give every player, especially the completionists out there. A reason to revisit each level again to see what new and exciting experiences in store for them okay i'm definitely not doing that water version of that level that shit looks too slow and 
I don't like the water levels in Crash games. I'm sorry. <laughs> So that's some of the new stuff that Dude. we have in store for you in Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Yo. Man, let me tell y'all right now. Oh wait, let me let me let me play the rest of this. Experience the space and time bending madness on October 2nd. All right. Uh who is this guy again? Let's go back real quick. Everyone, I'm Lou Stuttered. Produ Lou Stuttered. Bro, shout out to you. All right. You are an amazing commentator and I hope to hear your voice more when it comes to updates for Crash 4. Uh but yeah, uh Crash looks good. All the characters look great. Um, you know, uh, Entropy looks good. Uh, the gameplay looks really fun. The game looks good. The game looks good. And it obviously looks like there's going to be a lot more love put into this than there was with Insane, if I'm being honest. Granted, um, the main team's developers for those games uh, are different, but still. Um, I do like what I'm seeing here. And again, my only thing is, I just hope that when, you, when it comes to playing as... The extra characters that it it doesn't feel like a chore i hope they're all genuinely fun they don't drag out or whatever i, I do hope that you know um these are good because that's something that i didn't even think about until you know i watched the trailer again this morning um and you know it was the third time we watched it today so yeah that's pretty nice uh, once again um first of all i want to say congrats to my boy square eye jack i don't know if he's watching this but um, good on you for getting the demo of the game. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't watch your entire video because, honestly, I do want to experience the game for myself and uh, soak in everything uh, as best I can. And I don't want them to, like, I don't want to look at everything that gets revealed for the game, basically. And I'm not going to focus on every single detail when it comes to the game's uh, details uh, as it's nearing its release this year. So, yeah. Once again, uh... Hope you all are safe. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Uh, follow at Jerry the OG on Twitter if you have not. And I would like to get Crash for early. <laughs> I would like to get Crash for early, but if not, it's whatever. I'll just buy it. Because to be honest, uh, Crash Four and Shantae Five, or Shantae and the Seven Sirens, rather, those these two platformer games are the only games of this respective genre that I'm really interested in. That, that I'm really keen for this year. I don't really care about any other uh, platformer games that much. I mean, there was Streets of Rage 4, which I got, but that's, that's you know, that's a, that's a completely different genre. Anyways, I don't want to ramble. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all taking the time to watch this. Um, I have fun doing this. Um, I thought it'd be more convenient to do something like this rather than do a video with, you know, images and gameplay and all that. I don't, I don't want to do that personally, but... Yeah, um, I figured, you know, this this is enough content to talk about and cover and get my thoughts on and shit. So, that's what I did. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see y'all later. Uh, be sure to follow my new Twitter if you haven't. Or rather, the Twitter I've had for a while that you probably didn't know that I had. Uh, also, follow the second one that will be in the link in the description. And, <clears throat> excuse me, also follow the second one that will have a link in the description. And I'll catch y'all later. Y'all be safe. And, uh, yeah. Peace.